Hey guys, it's me and Christy Lee, back with another video, um, kind of a continuation of the last video. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we have found metal detecting and kind of digging around in the yard. Um, yeah, I know that there was more stuff than this, but Eric kind of just tosses stuff that isn't interesting into the steel pile. There was a couple items I wanted to show you guys and ask you if, if you had any idea of what it might be. But the steel bin is pretty big and it's got a lot of stuff in it and I would have to move a lot of big stuff to get to the little stuff that fell down to the bottom. It's, it's my opinion that if there's any copper or anything in it, we should keep it because we can pick apart the steel and put it in the copper bin. That's how I feel about it, but whatever. All right, so the first thing I want to show you, I actually found this a while ago when I was digging under the house for just stuff uh, where I found the milk bottle, the old milk bottle I showed you. And I did not know what this was. And I think I actually had thrown it back down on the ground, like next to the porch, because I thought it was just junk. And then I was watching another YouTuber, Deep Digger Dan, hilarious metal detector. He's like uh, Yorkshire, wherever that's at. He's from there, like English uh, something. He's hilarious. Um, I think this might be a tobacco tin. I'm not sure. It's very rusted. You can kind of see some lettering on it but I really cannot read what it is. Um, tell me if I'm right or wrong, please. So this is the item. It's rusted out at the bottom. It's got, it, this looks like this used to be some kind of a pull-out lid right there. And then there are some lettering here. It's like a red background, yellow lettering with black outlinings. It looks like I see a A, L, B, E, maybe. Now that I know that it's actually something more than just rusted, I thought it was something like modern that I didn't understand and it had just rusted. Now that I know that it's possibly old and something that we don't have anymore, I'm keeping this. <laughs> um, yesterday we were out at a park with a ball field and we dug this up. This was probably I would say five to seven inches down. A spoon. It's uh, very mangled and Eric actually accidentally hit it several times with our little shovel, our hand shovel. Um, it's greenish gray. Eric is convinced that it's silver plated. I think he did the uh, acid test on it and it did have silver in it, um, but that's peeling. And there are some words written on the back. I meant to get my jeweler's loop and try to read the words to find out exactly if it was like silver plated, silver nickel, if I could make out the maker's mark, um, but I haven't done that yet. Here is a collection. Oh, he didn't add the latest, where's the latest one? He didn't add it in here. We just found a bullet the other day. Anyway, here's a collection of all the bullets that we found. We found one the other day at a different park. It looked like it was, he said, like a 45, so that would be modern. But these are, I'm not sure... I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. That one looks like it's been shot. This one has ridges. Can you see that? I don't know anything about guns, really. Um, and then this one, he said, looked like a rifle bullet. I don't know. Where's the other one, Eric? Bada. Where is it? The short, fat one? Actually, I might have lost that one because I'm pretty sure I put that in my pocket. So let's stop blaming Eric because it was probably my fault. As a matter of fact, it's right here. Oh, I did shoot a video of us detecting that park, but 
a lot of the times that I thought the camera was off, it was on, and when I thought it was on, it was off. So I can't edit, therefore I'm not gonna put it up yet. I'm not sure if this one has been fired yet, which kind of makes me a little nervous. There's no markings or anything on it. Anyway, it's a little tiny, it's got a rounded tip, it's very short and stubby. I'm gonna put that in here. We did fine change. There's a quarter, a couple dimes and stuff like that. A bunch of pull tabs. Um, just random. Huge screws. So that that's all in there. Um, we found a couple of pieces of jewelry yesterday. <clears throat> he broke one of them. This is a little flippy flop with a rebel flag on it. Can you tell? No. No, that's not gonna work. Anyway, a little charm. Here is just some costume jewelry, a little earring, and another little <clears throat> earring. We haven't found anything good yet. I mean, money is always good. We found, I think this is lead. Um, this, I originally thought was just a plastic bead, but upon closer inspection, I think it's made out of some kind of stone. Um, I looked at it with my loop finder, and it's it's pretty interesting, actually. It flakes apart kind of easily, like right there you can see when I was cleaning the sand out of the hole. I mean, most of this was already missing, but a, a couple of pieces did fall off while I was doing it. And it's, um, is opaque the right word? Kind of grayish, kind of off-white. And on one side of it where the hole is for the string, there's also a micro hole that's perfectly drilled. You can't see it like this, but if you look at it with the viewfinder, it's perfectly drilled, and I'm not sure what that is for. Um, we are just constantly, constantly finding lead everywhere. This is like a homemade sinker. <laughs> and then this, I'm guessing, is lead. It showed up as metallic. Could be a piece of meteorite. <laughs> it's got sharp edges, so I'm guessing not. Um, Eric found this plastic thing. I don't know if it's a ring or whatnot, but I think that's all we found since the last time. I never did show you guys this, though. I'm not sure what this is. It's got a number two on it, and it looks like, like some kind of wind-up thing. It does have a hole that would go all the way through if I cleaned it out, but it also almost kind of looks like a rocket. <laughs> So, I'm not sure what that is. If you happen to know, please let me know. We found a couple of these little lead balls, too. And I found this a long time ago in a parking lot. It looks like it was some kind of, uh, like a bell. I'm pretty sure this is lead. Um, there are some markings on it, but... Um, Looks like it might say guard. It's got a copyright symbol and a registered symbol. Guardian, maybe? I don't know. But it was definitely some kind of bell. And it's like, it feels like lead. So I'm guessing that's lead. And I have no idea why someone would be using lead to make a bell. But who knows? And then here is another bead. I think this one might be plastic, but maybe not. Maybe it's the same as the other one. And I guess, sorry my nose is running a bit. I guess that is all for now. And now I need to go clean up all of my messes um, because I make a lot of them. And this is another 10 minute video. How does that happen? You know, I was checking my analytics and 
95% of the people who watch my videos are not yet subscribed. Like 2% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It'll make me feel better. <laughs> um, also, the average viewing time for my videos is only a minute and 10 seconds. So you guys watch like the first minute and then off to the next video. I can't make a minute and 10 long videos. I can't do it. I try. I think the best I get is like five minutes and even some sometimes five minutes is too long for some people. I personally like watching longer videos. That's just how I am. But there are times when I prefer the short ones. Um, anyway, so thank you for watching and I'm not sure if you can hear the chicken out there. I keep trying to get them to lay some eggs on the baskets I put on the front porch so I can, you know, have some eggs and maybe sell some eggs. Um, if I had a chicken coop, man, I could make a killing off of selling these eggs, but I just, I don't. We tried to build, build one and it lasted for a little while, but foxes got into it or possums. I don't know. Anyway, all right, guys. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you have a great day. It's Monday, right? Have a good Monday. Let this Monday be a good Monday. And I will see you next time. Bye.